Okay, so Josh from the Harry Tornado made this ridiculously funny video about how someone on his YouTube channel, like one of the viewers left a comment in the comment section calling him out and saying that, you know, the scenes where he would like pull inventory from his bins was staged and like, Josh, just be real and show us, you know, what your inventory system really looks like, like don't be fake. And Josh like made this entire video where he's basically just like being super facetious and he's hiding like clothes or hats in like trees and in his microwave and just like different places like that. I mean, I was cackling. I think I was watching it at work and I was cackling, like laughing so hard because it was so ridiculous. But I like have a literal moment where I I'm about to pull something that I sold and it's in like the most random place. So if you couldn't tell, I'm in my like living room slash like kitchen area right now. Ooh, the light is so bright. So um, like right here, let me turn this around, hold on. So right here is where I keep all the stuff that I originally bought to send into Amazon FBA and just like got sick of doing Amazon FBA. So I just have like a bunch of random hard good type stuff, including this piece that sold or this item, which is this tracer projector. I don't know. I got it last year or like a year and a half ago at um, a garage sale that some of my students had last year. Look at this hole in my PJs. Like, I'm a mess, you guys. Uh, but yeah, I just have like books and games and like this calculator that I need to hurry up and get listed. But I just have like all this random stuff and it's in a super random part of my house, just like Josh was, you know, talking about in that video. But yeah, so I gotta get this sold but i will definitely link that video down below as well as in a card here because you need to watch it it's so funny so another item that i have to pull is also not with the rest of my inventory but this is where i keep stuff that needs to be hung and this is actually my son's room except it's not his room because he doesn't use it he is two and almost a half like two and a half and he still sleeps with me so since he is down for the night um i came in here to pull the stuff that i sold from in here but yeah i have like jackets or like dresses or things that are like really delicate like this gorgeous beaded blazer like oh my god look at this Ugh, so good and like there is like some evidence of my son too like these are his jackets but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and pull something that sold from in here and it is this oh my god look at that huge hole too guys like i guess i need new clothes i don't know but um it is this jacket right here it's actually an old jacket of mine like a personal jacket but yeah, this bad boy sold via closet clear out today. This is my shipping station. This is actually our old dining room table from the house that we used to live in. And now it just sits in this corner. It is disgusting right now. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time cleaning it up. And it's disgusting because my daughter likes to like hang out with me here. And as you can see, well, this is from my son. He kept asking, do you want pizza? And I was like, I guess. And... This is all her stuff. She likes to like color and this is some of my crap. Like I like getting stationary stuff and like stuff in my planner and I, I don't even know. So we're just going to like try to make enough space so that I can actually ship stuff out here. So let me take you through that real quick. <laughs> Talking about you wish that things could be different. You honestly pressed that I saw my dream living it and I'm still kicking it. You thought that you caught me lacking, but I heard that you've been asking. Okay, so at least I have like an open space now with which I can do some shipping. But just to kind of give you an idea of what I have going on here, there is my scale. This is just like my little 
cable that I use or my little cord to transfer video files to my laptop. But that's my scale. This is my planner where I keep all of my like what's old information. This is some of my really cool planner stuff. Look at all my ridiculous amounts of washi. Like why, why am I the way that I am? And then this is where I keep my tissue paper. I have like a stack of my um, thank you cards here that my friend Christy made for me. I keep my like, what is this? Scissors and pens and markers and stuff in here. And then I have this bookshelf right here. And in this bookshelf is where I keep just like a ton of stuff that will probably come in handy at some point. So in this bin is where like my sweater shaver and I have like a tied stain removal pen. I've got some of these, um, what are these called? Lint rollers. I've got like tape for boxes. I've got like priority mail tape. Um, I have some ribbon and yarn. I have um, little like packing bags for delicate items. And then down here is where I have like boxes and I also have my compostable mailers from no issue here as well as like these ones that I ordered from Amazon a long time ago. I'm like running out of compostable mailers so I need to hurry up and order more. And then underneath this table I have some more boxes and a trash can which is really good. And I have like more boxes down here. These are like when we get stuff in from you know places like Amazon and stuff. We hold on to them so that I can reuse them to ship stuff out. I like to write down the person's name and what they got here and then next to here what I will do is I will write down if it's like in a bin in my inventory system I will write down what number bin it's in so that I can just like take this with me and pull it. I know some people like to write the information on the back of the packing slip like they'll just write down you know Abercrombie jacket or whatever but I don't want to like carry my labels around with me and then also what I put on here is if something is an eBay item, I like to write down how much I paid for shipping because then that information goes in my what sold video, like little planner pages that I fill out for myself. So um, I don't know, this system works for me. And then, you know, this is pretty mobile and I can like take it around with me as I go to the various areas in my house that I keep inventory. So for eBay, as you can see, I have two items to pull. One I already did, it's an autograph tracer on the bottom and the top item is a soft surroundings one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that now. And what I have is, let me scroll down here. I have this Excel spreadsheet and this is just where I put information regarding like what number the item is. This is kind of like my SKU number. And then I have everything in alphabetical order. Obviously, if I'm like doing inventory, I can put things in numerical order so that I can see what bags or like what numbers are empty. But I'm gonna go ahead and look for that soft surroundings top. So it was soft surroundings gray, three fourths sleeve tunic size large. It's number 154. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that right now. So this is my inventory system. I got these racks a while ago from, I want to say Home Depot, and we have like two of them and they're configured differently. So this one goes up higher and then this one isn't quite so high. But as you can see, I have 25 items in each bin and within each bin, like they're in these, what is this, like gallon size sandwich bag and there's, um, a number on each bag so what I do is if number 325 sells then I will take the item out of this bag and I will just keep reusing this bag over and over again so the item number that I'm looking for <laughs> look at this post-it this is so sad like I need to make better labels for my bin some of them are literally just like leftover pieces of paper some of them are post-its and this is a post-it that just like does not want to live here anymore. But it was number 154 and believe it or not, this happened to be on top because I did actually just like very recently inventory this. So I'm going to pull it out and we're going to weigh it and see what we're going to do about shipping it. So I've gone ahead and filled out my thank you card. So I love this because on the back, it's like pretty empty except for, you know, it has my information regarding like my Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay stores, as well as my Instagram and YouTube handles. And on the front is where it's like a drawing of me that my friend Christy did and it says thank you, or it's me saying thank you. But I love that there's space on the back too for me to personalize it a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and the top 
and I'm going to stick it in this poly mailer. I'm on my like last few of these. They're just from Amazon and um, they're before I discovered the no issue compostable mailers, which I'll have a video about linked right here. But you know, those poly mailers are wonderful because they are compostable and much better for the environment. Whereas these are actually quite terrible. They are really cheap though, especially compared to the compostable ones from no issue, but I'm going to go ahead and stick this in here and then we're going to set it on our scale, which is also linked down below. It is an Amazon affiliate link and then we'll see how much it weighs and plug that information into the system. So I measured the dimensions of this bag off camera just because I think that's impossible to do one handed, but it's nine by 10. I'm going to put it on the scale. Okay. So I pulled up the item that I'm going to try to ship and it is the soft surroundings gray v-neck whatever whatever and she bought it for $25 she paid $4 for shipping I usually just like charge a set amount that people need to pay and for items that I think I'll be able to ship out first class I tend to do like around $4 if it's you know more than eight ounces so I'm gonna go ahead and weigh it and then we're gonna put in the rest of this information this is 8.9 ounces, so I'm going to go ahead and round up to 9 ounces. So we're going to put that information in here. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. So the weight is, we're going to say, 9 ounces. And we said it's 9 by 10. And I just put 1 in there if it's like a bag. I'm not using a box or anything. I'm going to click Update to see what they're going to charge me on shipping. So if I want to do priority mail, which I don't, it would be $7.49. I want to do USPS first class package, so it's going to come out to $3.88, and that's awesome. So that falls right in that like $4 range that I had them pay for shipping, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and purchase and print the label. I do this through PayPal, so there's that, and then I'm going to print it as soon as the purchase goes through. Take a little longer, why don't you? Next up, I'm going to ship out this tracer projector thing. I did find an old Amazon box that we had, you know, something sent to our house in. So I'm just going to use this. I don't have a resizer. I know a lot of people who are like super serious about selling on eBay and sell a lot of hard goods. They have resizers and so they would like, you know, perforate along here and like cut the box down. This is so embarrassing. Like this, whatever, I don't care. But um, they would cut it down because, you know, like the smaller the item, the smaller the box, the less you have to pay. But I don't think that this would actually make that much of a difference. But there is a little bit of space here and there's a little bit of space above and I don't want this just like jostling around in the box. So I am gonna fill it with some stuff that I have. These guys from something, I don't know where. So that's gonna fit really nicely right there. And then I do have this like bubble wrap type stuff. And I think that fits. Perfect. And what I'll do is I will write out a thank you card. I will put it probably not right on top. I'll probably put it like above that. And then we will get the dimensions, weigh it, and see how much I'm going to have to pay for this sucker. Now this looks kind of crazy here. There was my original label that Amazon had printed to send this box to me. And you want to take that off for a couple reasons. One, the barcode that they have on their label, if that is still present and you haven't covered over it or you haven't like, you know, drawn on top of it with like a Sharpie or something, then they might get confused. And when you bring it to USPS or if they come and pick it up, they might scan that barcode on accident and that's not what you want. So that's one reason, and the second reason is just you don't want them, you know, having your address. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to measure this one-handed. Oh, jeez, see, this is too hard, hold on. So across, it's about 13 inches, and this way, it is, we'll say, 14 inches, and then we also wanna get the height so we have 13 by 14 by nine. So that's what I'm gonna put in for the size, 13 by 14 by nine. And as far as weight goes, it's about four pounds and one ounce. And it keeps going down, it's getting lighter apparently. But it is definitely less than I thought it was gonna be. I had it in as five pounds.
Okay, so you're gonna see me using, can you see my face? <laughs> you're gonna see me using two different tapes and I had run out of the tape that I love, which is this one. This is like the Scotch shipping tape and it comes with this handy dandy, what is this called? I don't know, this thing. And it like rips it for you. You don't have to use scissors or anything like that. Um, I picked this up at Sam's Club in bulk. They sell, I don't know, like maybe a package of six of these. And it's kind of expensive. It's like six of these for, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like over $15. Whereas this I got at Target and they were also selling it in bulk. And it was like probably like three or four of them. But these were not cheap either. And I don't like these. Like I don't feel like this holds its stick very well like I don't know it just doesn't feel very sturdy to me and you have to use scissors obviously which is super annoying so if I had to endorse a tape it would be this one it would be the scotch shipping packaging tape I am not endorsed by them they are not paying me to say that that is my own opinion so let's keep taping <laughs> For free through USPS I think that I got it online but they're kind of weird about sending out this tape like they don't really like to send it to people and I usually will just put it like on boxes to kind of have just one more layer to make sure like this stays down but also because this isn't a priority mail box I want people to know that it is a priority mail package and that's why I put the tape on there but yeah, that's what's going on here. So this is the first Poshmark package that I'm going to go ahead and ship out. It is an Abercrombie jacket. And this was actually returned to me, so it's my second time selling it. And if you're interested in learning more about the items that I'm shipping out today, every week I put out a What Sold video. I try to put it out at the beginning of the week, but lately I've been putting it out on like Thursday or Friday. But um, I will talk more about these items in depth in those videos and I think that they're really helpful because it just tells you like you know what I'm selling for how much how much I'm picking them up for that sort of stuff but yeah this is my second time selling this and I'm just kind of like debating usually for Poshmark packages I will wrap everything in tissue but I feel like this particular jacket as well as the other one that I'm going to ship out I feel like they're just way too big and I'll have to either like tape two pieces of tissue paper together and I'm trying to decide if that's worth it. I think what I'm gonna do instead is like put them inside of padded flat rate envelopes or something similar so that they're protected in case, you know, like the box gets wet or something. I'll show you what I mean. gorgeous but by putting it inside of two of these priority mail mailing envelopes I am at least protecting it you know in case the box gets like rained or snowed on or something and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put together this large priority mail box and I'm gonna just go ahead and put that in the box so here we go Switch up your mentality Hope oh, maybe if I stop and think everything will ease oh, 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 oh. So this big thing <laughs> I don't know what to do I'm going to try to see if I can do the same thing And use two of these guys to protect it so we shall see you shall see if i make it or not you wake up rub your eyes and get out of bed thinking all different types of things inside your head spouting words of motivation in the air it's gonna be a great day because you can but it's not fair I 
was like a sausage. It was like putting sausage inside one of those casings. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. But it's in. Now I just gotta find a box that this is gonna fit in. If I kind of smoosh it, it fits in this box. This is a box that, I don't know, something got sent to us in this. I think it was like bathroom stuff. We've been remodeling our bathroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip all of this stuff off and that should be good to go. And I just gotta stick my uh, thank you card in there. These are, I believe, from Saturday to Sunday, so not a lot. I mean, I didn't sell a whole lot this weekend. I wasn't really putting a lot of effort in. Like, today's the first day I actually listed items in a while, but those are, those are some puzzle pieces. Oh, this room is a mess. I share this with my kids. I think I mentioned that there's, like, a little play dice in vacuum. There, I mean, if I were to show you the real, like, the whole room, you'd be like, oh, my gosh. But yeah, those are my four packages. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a USPS pickup. And what's amazing is that they will come to your house and pick up your items for you. So I'll show you how to do that really quick. So this is the USPS.com website and I've already logged in. Um, they have an app too on their phone, which is pretty handy, but my phone recently died and I had to restore it and I didn't get all of my apps. So I haven't downloaded that one onto my phone yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it on my laptop. But if you go to mail and ship, there is an option to schedule a pickup. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put in your information. My address is already there. That's why I am hiding it. And then you're going to check availability. You say where you're going to leave your packages. I'm going to leave mine on the porch. Oh, sorry. It's like losing focus. I don't have any other additional information. I want to go ahead and pick it up during regular mail delivery because I don't want to pay $23. That's crazy. So then, geez. Um, I just want them to come tomorrow, which is the 4th. So I select that. And then I say how many of each item I have. So it's not like super important that you have to be 100% accurate. Like you could just say, I have four packages, so I could say that it's four priority mail packages. But for the sake of this video, I'll go ahead and say there's one first class and three priority mail. So, and in total, it's probably going to be about, I don't know, like six pounds because most of that stuff is super light. And we'll say eight pounds because I guess that one projector thing alone is like four pounds and then that jacket is probably two yeah so we'll say eight pounds as long as it's not over like 70 you're good so then you say you have read and understand the terms and conditions you schedule your pickup and then you just put them outside and you're good to go and the reason why i'm doing this right now is because my address is behind my hands so i will probably try to include some more videos of me shipping stuff out like tomorrow and the next day but in case I don't bye bye I'm sorry about this crazy shirt that I'm wearing and how like raggedy it is but hopefully you were able to learn a little bit about shipping and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure that you like it and make sure that you subscribe for more helpful videos such as this in the future adios